COVID-19 in our community, my husband's been doing most of the grocery shopping. Before we were said to shelter in place, I did a big grocery shopping haul. So we haven't had to go out until now. So in this video, you will see our produce haul and how we decide to store it to prevent trips from outside of the home so often to the produce market. Hello. This is my daughter who just said she did not want to do her algebra work and now she thinks she's going to do online shopping. I'm getting something for Jordan. You're done all your algebra work? Both yes. pre tests? This is Lily Jean who keeps on crying. Wah, wah, wah. All the day long. This is Anaya who comes to visit her auntie only to talk to her friends on TikTok and Snapchat. I am not talking to anybody. I'm watching YouTube. I'm bored. Well, come out of the room, bored. I'm sorry. Do. I'm sorry. This is not Naya. This is bored. <laughs> this is our fruit and veggie haul. I wonder how long it's going to last us. Any predictions? How long do you think that's going to last? Mm. Depends on which vegetables I'm talking about. All of it. It lasts us at least three weeks. Three weeks? Okay. How long do least, you think so it's gonna last? Um, maybe like a month and a, no, a month. A month? Yeah. Jean, okay. how long do you think that's gonna last, Lily Jean? You get to start eating food next week. Really? Okay. Personally, I think this is probably gonna last probably only like two and a half. Three weeks weeks so I'm going to prepare it freeze some of it wash it all um, and put it away so I asked my husband to go to the produce market to pick up some produce and I asked him to try to buy more than what we would normally buy so that we can stay out of the produce market due to everything that's going on in our communities right now and we would normally go to the produce produce market at least once a week. So I think that this produce is probably only gonna last us about two weeks, maybe half. Um, so I am going to wash and put this away the best way I can um, so that it will last us at least two weeks, which is my prediction. I definitely don't think it's going to last a month, um, but at least two weeks. So I'm gonna put it away in the best way that I see fit and hopefully you'll come along for this journey. Say some of that food is for me because I get to eat some food next week. Yeah? Hopefully she'll fall asleep in the process. We have a big 10 pound bag of potatoes here. So it looks like I'm going to take some of these potatoes put them in a basket for the drawer and then chop some to get ready for like dinner or maybe some for breakfast just to already have them packaged and look who's sleeping Take my chopped vegetables and 
store them in the bags and place them into the freezer. breakfast potatoes and then these I'm going to use for fries I like to put um, like I like to put like a batter on fries and either bake them most time we bake we don't normally fry things in here <clears throat> so like put a batter on them with like a little bit of whatever seasoning whole grain flour and then you can bake them or deep fry them whatever or ha whatever cooking style your family likes so again you just put a little batter on them i use whole grain flour and whatever seasoning put them in the oven or you deep fry them and then you have some yummy crunchy fries and i keep the skin on my potatoes it's more nutritious that way it's really healthy the healthiest part of the potato is the skin what I'm gonna do is try to like lay these flat and get all of the air out of the bag and seal them up and put them into the freezer now these probably will stick together a little bit but the whole thing the whole idea is that it's already prepared and you can just pull it out in the morning or the night before and stick it in the refrigerator and then bake then i could bake these or throw them in the cast iron skillet to have like a brunch or you know breakfast potato um or whatever you want to do with them breakfast burrito even though i'm the only one who eats like fancy stuff if i'm like all right guys we're going if i'm like all right guys we're going to have a breakfast burrito Everybody would be like, yeah, my niece is here. She would eat it. Like today I made like this breakfast pizza. I want to eat it. It was so good. It had, um, what's that bread called? What is it? Yeah, the non bread. The non. I used that. And then I had some eggs. My husband had some leftover scrambled eggs. Then I put black beans, and then I put green onion, and then salsa. All I, I put that all together in a pan. All of this was like leftover stuff. So I put it all in a pan, and I let it, you know, heat up together. And then I put olive oil in my cast iron skillet, and then I put the naan bread down in the skillet, and then put everything on top with a little bit, a tiny bit of um white cheddar cheese because I'm trying to quit cheese <laughs> um, so I put a little bit of that and then I let it melt put the top on it and I let it melt and then after that once it melted I took some fresh salsa that I like to buy from Aldi and I put that on top and it was so good but I say that to say like if it's anything fancy I feel like I'm the only one in the house is gonna be like, oh, breakfast burrito, yum. Everybody be like, no, nah, I don't want that. Not true. Yes, it would. You would not eat it. You'd be like, breakfast burrito. We never had that before. But anyway, <laughs> I've made breakfast burritos for my students and they love them during our birthday breakfast. But you could use the potatoes for whatever you want. But like having them prepared because when at the end of the day even though I'm working from home at the end of the day I don't feel like cooking and I feel bad at making my husband cook all the time <laughs> and sometimes he cooks and it's not what I want or it don't look the way I want it to look so you should tell me what do you what do you want okay. so anyway having the produce all chopped is going to help me be a better wife. Ding. So I'm just flattening all out and getting as much air out of the bags as possible. So 
so I can put them in the freezer. Yeah. So that's what I'm gonna do now. That I've gotten as much air out of the bags. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to freeze them like this so they won't be too plump together. I'm gonna put them in the freezer. some told my husband to get some pears because Lily Jean is going to be six months next week so she gets to start eating food and it's so cute because every time anybody in the house is eating something she's like staring she's like so she's she's like so about it she loves to watch us eat stuff and it's so funny because Every time we're eating, she'll make like the chew emotions with her mouth. <laughs> so she's so ready to um, be able to eat. So I got some vegetables, certain fruits and vegetables with her in mind. Actually, when my 12 year old was little, I would also make her baby food too. Like I never really like purchased too much store brought food for her. So I'm going to do the same thing with Lily Jean. So some of these pears, I'm going to prepare some baby food for Lily Jean along with the green beans I'm gonna prepare and peas. Um, and I got these little containers from the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna prepare Lily Jean's baby food and put them in these little containers so that we can have certain serving sizes for her as she is introduced to different foods. So we're starting with peas, pears, string beans, and I was doing some reading. I've been doing some reading about like, my mom's gonna kill me, but it's about baby rice cereal and like why you shouldn't give that to your baby. So yeah, anywho, baby has a doctor's appointment. I'm just gonna run those ideas by her like, you know what I found in my research to see what her opinion is as a pediatrician because I don't know if I want to give it to her now I did give it to Elani. she didn't really prefer it um so we'll see but I'm taking some of the fruit and now drying it off for a fruit bowl in addition to putting some of it in the refrigerator because sometimes we like to have our fruit cold and then if you put it all out on the counter it goes bad very quickly so some of this is going to go in the fridge and others of it is going to go in a fruit bowl right on the counter and then some of it I will also juice and then others of it I will turn into food for the baby Like if I make like a stuffed pepper thing, you guys aren't going to eat that. So if I try, if I made a stuffed pepper, you guys will try it. I'm gonna try it. But I actually like roasted red pepper soup, and I like to take the red peppers like for like a quick snack. Yeah, I know you roast them. Yeah. And I like them in my salads. Right. So there you go. <laughs> I don't need double. Well, but we'll work, okay. we'll make it work. Right. So I'm gonna just chop these up in a couple different ways for snack, for salads, for roasted red peppers, for like quinoa bowls. Um, and I'll leave a few whole just to try a few stuffed peppers since you said you'll try it. Yep. <laughs> okay. Recruits, 
<laughs> they are snapping the ends off of the string beans and half having them. Half? Halves? Halves? Breaking them in half. Okay, yeah. Breaking them in halves. <laughs> <laughs> and Honey Wilkins is um, washing the grapes and putting them in these containers that I like to get from the Dollar Tree. And he's carefully plucking them from the vine one by one. <laughs> you said, you know, but you could just do them in bunches, you, you which I really appreciate. You said preferably. Preferably. <laughs> preferably. Thank you, honey. So he's putting those in there because me and Elani actually like to have frozen grapes. So we're going to freeze some of the grapes in I'll these containers the and um, then put some in the fridge. And I am chopping the plethora of peppers in a couple different categories. And so I have some in bigger chunks that we like to snack on and then others that we can just put in the Ziploc bags in a moment to just roast or do whatever we need to have peppers in. I like to put peppers and eggs and all sorts of stuff, rice. So I have a couple categories for snacking and then I'll make some for my salads. Um, and then save a few for roasting, and I still have a bunch over here to clean and chop, which I you forgot to, to tell him. Those. I forgot to tell him I do not need double peppers, but he got them anyway, so because I forgot to tell him not to do that. Um, and then we have berries that we need to wash and freeze, which Elani can eat like I love frozen yes. stuff. Yes, Lonnie can, can eat, eat a whole carton. carton. I can eat a Lonnie whole, carton, eat of a whole car carton of like blackberries or I raspberries can eat in one sitting. So that's why I said this will probably last two weeks, if that. But we'll yeah, see. Okay. I had to take a break to feed the baby, and this is all we have left to finish preparing. I'm gonna chop the cucumbers up for a salad tonight for dinner, and um, just chop the rest up and put them in the bowl. And I gotta finish this. Peppers in different sizes for snacking, for salads, for roasting. And what are you doing? Strawberries. So these we're gonna freeze. I'll chop them up. And then the others we're you gonna chop keep them up. Them. Yeah, because oh, I'm gonna yeah, chop them up to I freeze them. I got you, I got you. Because if you don't, they're gonna be like rocks to use them. And then this we're just putting in the fridge because you don't want to wash the berries that you're not ready to eat because if you do, they'll go bad. Where are the other berries? In the fridge Okay, we need to put labels on these, so I'm going to take these out and put labels on them. In our family, we like to put strawberries in our banana puddings, and I am so excited. My cousin Cookie told me about a little trick. She said to make the banana pudding filling, put it in a bowl and then just scoop it out with cookies anytime you wanna have it. That way you don't have to worry about it being all mushy. So I'm really excited about doing that. And what am I going to do with all these peppers? Oh. Come, come, come. These peppers I'm gonna save for some stuffed peppers which they said they're going to eat. Okay, Lily Jean, open up the freezer, boo. Open the freezer. And we got all of our fruits up there, nice and labeled, obsessive with the label maker, I know. And then there's my pepper medleys, which took me forever to chop. <laughs> 
<laughs> all those peppers. You didn't actually know. Well, well, not with those, because I wanted them cut a certain way. But thank you. And then, yeah, so that's all that. Oh, so right here is where we took all of the veggies, the potatoes that we put there, the Brussels sprouts, and then there's some spinach up there. I laid it flat so it would fit in this freezer, which I told you in my last video that if I had this to do this all over again, I probably would not be buying this freezer because it does not store and hold very much. So yes. Okay, Lily Jean, open up the refrigerator. Open it, boo. Open. Good job. So here's the refrigerator. And there's my mix for salads, which I'm going to be doing. My peppers for snacking. And I also like to keep peppers um, in my salad. And down bottom. Uh, hey, a boo. Booza. Booza. So there's the Lonnie's Kiwis, which they will probably be. Billy Boo. So here are, here's like a salad, you know, salad that I could just literally just throw in a bowl all ready to go. Um, and then my peppers for snacking and I also like to put peppers in my salad. And Lonnie's Kiwis, which will be gone in five minutes. <laughs> and then strawberries and then back there are carrots, baby carrots, which um, I don't normally take them out of the bag, but everything that's going on in the country right now uh, with the virus, I don't want bags from the store in my fridge. Um, so I have um, Lonnie's Kiwis and then the berries, which berries cannot be washed until you're ready to eat them unless you're freezing them. So these are the berries that we are going to eat. Um, and Lonnie, like I said, We'll eat like one of these in one sitting. So back there are my baby plums, which I love. And then we have some grapes and then other fresh fruits and veggies that I'm either going to juice or we're going to eat or have pears, which I'm gonna make some pear baby food for the baby in the blender and puree that. And down there is our chopped cucumbers for salads and for snacking, more peppers spinach which goes in my recipes and the bananas which i'm keeping in the fridge normally we don't but we have so many and i don't want them to go bad too fast so i'm gonna keep some bananas in the refrigerator um this, these are green onions which are already washed uh, wrapped in paper towels and prepared already because i got them you know a minute ago not a minute like last week and we've been putting green onion and everything and it's so yummy so yeah, that is our produce haul and how I prepared prepared it. And we'll see whose guess, you know, is more accurate about how long this will last. I'm hoping we won't have to go to the produce market for at least the next month. No, not month, Hopi. I think this. You think a month? I think it's this like is gonna last back. two weeks. This is what I think. Oh, but two weeks. Two, um, maybe two and a half weeks. I know that fruit is gonna be going in no time, but yeah. we do have some frozen fruit here. Do you have the frozen grapes in there? Yeah, we have frozen grapes. We're gonna oh, freeze them. Done. No, we just put them in. <laughs> so we're gonna freeze the grapes and freeze some other things that we can have over time. So we'll see how long this lasts.